All right, so I just dropped my daughter off at her appointment. So I'm currently sat in a parking lot having my dinner and I have about an hour and a half to spare before I have to pick her up. So I figured, why don't we head to Walmart and see what they got? <laughs> Uh, let's see where do we start let's start at the bottom got some multi sets here Ooh, this is a set of 12 puzzles from cardinal with a variety of piece counts and it's got a little bit of everything which is also really cool got a set of four pokemon puzzles here that's good for someone who's really into pokemon we got a marvel pack of four here as well kind of similar to the pokemon but with marvel characters oh got ourselves this beautiful pack of four thomas kincaid images this is very holiday ish i actually have one of these four packs at home with kind of the same style with the wintry scene but these are absolutely beautiful oh you know that's my house and my lighthouse look at all those lights my bill's gonna be high this month. And then the only other box set that I see here is this Disney Mickey Mouse one. This is fun. It's a pack of five with different very vintage retro looking images here. And not bad for $16. I mean, it's a lot of puzzle sets there. And most of these all range about the 12 to $16 range for these sets here at Walmart. And then on this shelf here, we have the 100 to 300 count sets. I'll pull out some here. We got this really pretty Disney princess puzzle set with all of Ariel's sisters and Ariel, of course. These colors are fantastic. We got a Disney up image here. That's fun. Got a Finding Nemo set. I have to say, if you're really into Disney puzzles, Walmart is one of like the best places to go to find them. They do have a great selection. We have this one here with a whole bunch of random birds. We've got quite a number of those. What's this one here? Oh, that's fun. I love the colors on this too. Oh, look, and the proceeds go to a crisis relief fund. That's really cool, actually. I didn't know they did that. We have this one here, Color Cafe. That definitely makes me want to have a cup of coffee. We have a lake cabin here. Oh, look at that. That's absolutely beautiful. And look, there's a puzzle on the table. I think I'm on vacation. This is this is the little place I rented for vacation. It's my Airbnb. I'm, I don't know whose dog that is. It's, it's not mine for sure. Maybe we found him outside and he's, we're waiting for the owner to pick him up. Look at this. If you're into campers, this one is adorable. I love this artwork. We have a Crayola puzzle here. This is from Buffalo. These are also large pieces. That's interesting. And this one looks like, I don't know if this would be hard or easy to, to complete. I don't know about that. And we're going down to the 200s now. We have a Disney Mickey Christmas puzzle here. And it's Marvel. We got Star Wars, Mandalorian, Captain America, more princesses, and more of like the for kids little kitty puzzles here from Nickelodeon and, and whatnot. Let's see this here. This looks like a, oh no, this is Ravensburger. All right. What is this though? Is this a four pack or is this one puzzle image? I think this is just one image here with four different scenes. That's interesting. Looks like from their John Deere collection. Oh, look at that. This is $9.97. It's not bad for a Ravensburger. I mean, that's the cheapest I've seen a Ravensburger. Is, is this even correct? No, that is not correct. We have some more 300 piece counts here for Disney. We have great outdoors. Oh my, he would never catch me rock climbing. That's, oh, that's a no-no. Oh, we have a Wasaki image here. This is the Buffalo large piece set for 300 counts. We have another one here. That's pretty. We got hidden picture highlights. This is fun one for kids actually. That's a really cute image as well. I wouldn't mind putting this together. That'll be some good, quick fun. Jolly Hill Farms here. Oh, I love this. Look, pick your own watermelon, eggs for sale. Oh, I wanna be here. Look at the little pumpkins in the background. I love this image. Oh, look at this one. This is perfect for the fall season. I love that image. Look at all those pumpkins. I think actually some of you guys on Discord, I don't know, these, these images look familiar to me. I think you guys have completed 
certain puzzle counts of those. We have a memory lane from Masterpieces here, 300 easy grip count, Galactic Gnomes. We have a rose art puzzle here from the Color Lux Americana collection. It's a 300 piece. Look at those colors. Those are so vibrant. What a fun image. I love things like this. We got a bunch of random cats here. That's cute. Oh my God, look at this, a cat boutique. That is so funny. A little strange too, actually. It's a bit weird. I don't know how I feel about this actually. Someday Carnegie Hall. That's pretty. That's another one of the Buffalo Large 300 piece count sets. Yeah, if you're looking for a place that has a really good selection of like lower count puzzles, like five 300 counts and things like that, Walmart is a fantastic place to go because I mean, come on, I'm sure you'll find something here. Now we're up to 400 counts. I haven't seen 400 counts. That's interesting. We have a Star Wars one. We have Spider-Man and an LOL surprise set. That's cute. And now we're moving on to the all the 500 count sets here. So let's let's skim through these. We got Star Wars Mandalorian. We have a Miss Marvel set here. We have a Buffalo set from the jo Josie Lewis collection. That's interesting. I don't even know what this is. Oh, it's candy. Hello. If I read it, I'd know, huh? We have one of these Buffalo Americana sets here. Uh, yeah look at this image you know you know that's my house right i don't have to tell you why it's just everything's just right here look at the sunset in the background the waves crashing oh my god i could just be sat on those steps there showing that random dog away but i mean this is beautiful got some horses we have another buffalo set here from the old glory collection that's a lot of fireworks. That looks like it'd be hard, actually. Got this really fun Charles Wasaki image. This beautiful sunset here. This one is from the Daryl Bush collection from Buffalo, the Star Spangled Sun. Oh, this is another one of the Old Glory collection pieces. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is so cool. And I love tacos. I love Mexican food. They even have the menu. I love this. And if you love them doggies, look at those doggies animals. Oh, those are not dogs, those are bears. Oops. And just so you know, guys, don't think that what's in the front is all that's there. Sometimes you're going to see some hiding in the back there as well. You never know. You might see a new one back there. So don't don't forget to stick your hands in the back there. Oh, Ooh, I do love country life. Look at that. That's beautiful. Oh, look at this Rose Art Color Lux set. The Empire State. Oh. That makes sense. I see the Empire State Building now. Open your eyes, Mandy. And then you got more of your Disney Star Wars ones here. What is this? That's interesting. That's that's weird. Look at that. These Color Lux ones are really nice from Rose Art. I'm guessing they just those colors just really really pop, which is you know obviously why they call it Color Lux. But I'd be interested if to know if the color on the pieces look as vibrant as what's on the box. Oh, Grandpa's Farmer's Market. Yes, please. I could shop here all day. Okay, we got more of these 400 count puzzle sets. We got a Spider-Man. We have a dinosaur one, that's fun. These are some really colorful looking images. This is a 750. Looks like we're getting into the 750 count puzzles now. Oh, <gasps> what? Autumn Townhouse? I've just moved into my new place, guys. Who is that? I don't know who that is. That don't look like my husband. Probably the realtor. We're just, you know, doing the last minute things before we close on the house. That, that's who that is. You have a dog here taking a dump. Some more little random pups. <gasps> oh my god, this is my weakness. Disney Thomas Kincaid. Every time I come across one, I just can't help but just stop and stare at it for the longest. And I really need to stop buying them, honestly, because it's like, I already have so many that I haven't completed. Like, you know what? Who cares? If I want it, I'll get it. Because I can. But not right now. Probably not right now. I don't know. I have to think about that. And they also do, as I said before, have a very good selection of kid puzzles or toddler puzzles. So you see down here we have like the wooden puzzles. We have like these cereal box ones that I've seen many times before. And you know, you have like your other odd ones from different kid shows and whatnot. And they're not very expensive here. They also do these crystal 3D puzzles, which are interesting. I've never tried these before. I gotta pick one up at some point. But this is cool because this is from Disney's 100th anniversary i'm not feeling this right now but maybe another time and then they got more of these 3d crystal puzzles here as well and of course 
gotta have your puzzle glue handy in case you come across a puzzle that you know just kind of kicked your butt and you just want to make sure that it ain't going to fall apart so oh, they sell smaller ones too that's good this is the one that i used to put haunted mansion together so it's good stuff i recommend it then you also have they also carry puzzle mats which is very handy and puzzle sorting trays that's also very handy but again you know you could use whatever you have and now we move on to the 1000 piece puzzles and they got quite a few of them still got some more up here um i'm not sure if i'm gonna be able to reach them but i'll do my best and they go up to the 2000 so let's let's see what else we got here these rose art color looks are very interesting and i think i want to do a video at some point of comparing these rose art sets which cost about ten dollars here at a walmart with the um ones that i got from dollar tree which were three dollars they were also from rose art so i'm curious as to whether is there really a difference with either of those sets in terms of quality lazy days i need more of those look at that that's pretty we got another one here from the lazy day series oh that's beautiful abraham hunter image here look at that that is beautiful oh look at the little ducks look at this one as well from abraham hunter this is gorgeous but i don't know i feel like that'll be super hard to do for some reason got a lot of trees and skies and water going on here Oof. oh we got ourselves a thomas kincaid moana here and this is a thousand piece by a turny. What is this? We have Avatar here from Buffalo Puzzles. We have this Buffalo Contemporary Art Abstract Flora. That's pretty. Oh, what's this one? Cities. Oh, look at this. I'll be coming to stop here for dinner soon. Got a beautiful deer image there. Oh, all right. Here's another Disney Thomas Kincaid. So we got a, one of these. Let me see, this is a newer Snow White Thomas Kincaid image. This is from 2023. This is beautiful. And wait a minute, hold on a second. The prince is watching all this happen? Why didn't he stop the witch from giving her the poison apple? He's just, he's just waiting for, for this to happen. That's pretty useless of him. Uh, it's still a nice image though. We have this love letter from Laramie. That's a beautiful image. This one here of California. We have a DC image, Thomas Kincaid. That's cool. You know me and Batman, I love Batman. Uh, look at this holiday one. This is beautiful. This is 1,000 pieces. And this is a 2023, so this is a newer Thomas Kincaid image. Mickey and Minnie Christmas Lodge. That is gorgeous. At least I'm assuming that's what the year means. Does that mean with the image, when the image was produced, or does that mean when the puzzle was made? Hmm. Ooh, another Christmas image. Look at that deer. Who was able to put a bow on her? How interesting this is. Oh, look at this one. It's another Disney Thomas Kincaid. Is this a 20? This is last year. Candy Cane Express. Oh, I love this image. That sky and that mountain look like looks like it'll be a beast to put together though. But the rest of this, oh my god, this is so much fun. And then we have this Hawaiian food truck festival. I love food trucks. I need to hit up one of the food truck festivals around my area. Now, I've been looking into picking up a Kodak puzzle, but I'm going to be honest, I'm not really I'm not really feeling this image. It's not my kind of style. So, I think I'm going to have to pass again on that. Now, the ones up here, um I'm going to see which ones I could reach. Check out this Amy Stewart puzzle. Oh my god, that, there is so much going on here. This is a yard sale, but this looks more like a disaster sale to me. This is, this is a huge mess here. Someone needs to organize this. We got another Amy Stewart here. I love, I love Amy Stewart's rich colors. We also got some Spin Master puzzles here. This is a Statue of Liberty. We have, if I can reach it, another one here. This is American Patriot. It looks to be the series. And then we have this one here too. That's cool. I noticed Spin Master puzzles are the only ones that are plastic wrapped in Walmart. So that's interesting. I think we've already seen all those up there except these. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. We got ourselves a pack of four 500 piece Disney Thomas Kincaid sets here. Which if you're looking to grab some of this style of Disney images. I have to say the four packs are a great deal in terms of the price and what you get. 
they're a lot of fun and then we also have this pack of four here with the mickey and minnie we have ariel lion king and cinderella i think i have two of these four images here but those are really cool and then there's this selection as well with another ariel image i think i like that one more that's beautiful we have this one here minnie and mickey we have tangled and we have dumbo now it looks like the other brands that they have plastic wrapped are the spring box puzzles this is a 2000 piece set we got a lot of stuff going on here but i'd be curious what the quality is like on their 2000 pieces and this is a fun camper image here with a bunch of food left out for me to go and eat and then of course you know i'm gonna have a little campfire going with some coffee oh look we got some barbecue going too oh we're all set there's a really fun 2000 piece count set for the Christmas season. Look at that. There's a lot of stuff going on in this image. This this looks fun. It looks like it'd be hard though. And then the only other thing that I see here, sorry, I'm trying to reach. Oh, this is a different brand. We have here about four different puzzle images from the Magic Puzzle Company. These are 1000 piece sets. This one's called the Happy Isles, number one puzzle on Kickstarter. I've heard you guys mention this brand to me a few times, but this is the first time I've actually seen it at a store. Not something I'd expect at a Walmart, but this is cool. This is actually a cute image. Look at all those kitty cats. Apparently these are original art and a magical surprise at the end. Oh, this has got a lot of stuff going on here. How much are these? These are, these are the more expensive sets here. These are actually $22.97. Hmm, I wonder if it's worth it. What else do we have here? We also have this image. I'm trying not to get glare. Let me see if I can prop it a little bit. The Mystic Maze. Look at this. This artwork is so cute. Oh my god. Am I going to have to get one of these? And then we have the Forest Feast here. Oh my goodness. This is too cute. Look at all the foods everywhere. Oh my god. Oh, frogs. I love frogs. Look at how cute. Oh my goodness. I love... Is that Shrek? What the heck? This is so cute. I love this. It's actually only three images that they have. Interesting. Oh man. Well, as I said before, in a typical Walmart, you're gonna find, you know, certain brands. You'll definitely find tons of Seiko. There's Buffalo. You'll find Rose Art, Spin Masters, very rarely Robin's Burgers, Springbok, and Magic Puzzle Company. And again, you'll find a great selection of different puzzle counts and multi-puzzle box sets. So yeah, if you're looking for a place to do some puzzle shopping, Walmart is your place to go if you got one near you. Now, decisions. So to be honest, there's really not a huge selection in terms of different puzzle brands. And you know me, whenever I go out shopping, I try to aim to buy puzzles from brands that I don't currently own. But you know, still, it's a good selection. I know one I'm definitely getting. Um, in terms of if I'm getting anything else, I'm not sure. There's really like only two puzzles that I would probably get. I don't know, this is not gonna be a big haul. I have to really think about this. But anyways, I'll see you at home. I must say, I'm actually quite surprised that I kept myself in check during this Walmart trip. And the reason why I say that is because I only bought two. Which you're probably saying, oh my god, there were so many of them that you wanted to get. Why didn't you go nuts buying them? Well, again, I do my best to try to buy puzzles from brands that I don't have. And Walmart is pretty much one of those places that only carry a certain number of puzzle brands, which I already have quite a number of. And on top of that, you know I'm always trying to stay in budget. So here's what I picked up at Walmart. Now, the first one that I picked up is from Rose Art. It is called the Americana, and the artist is Anthony Kleem. It is 500 pieces. And it's 23.5 inches by 16.5 inches when it's completed. Now, I have a number of Rose Art puzzles already. But the reason why I wanted to pick this one was not only because I wanted to see how vibrant these colors were for this particular series, but I do have a 500-piece Rose Art set that I picked up from Dollar Tree for $3. 
And a number of you have asked me if there was any quality differences with the $3 Dollar Tree Rosar sets to the more expensive ones. And when I say more expensive, it, it's not like a very expensive brand in general. This one, I believe only cost me $9. Actually, it was only $6.97. So, you know, not that much more expensive, but still, I'm really curious to see what the quality differences are like and if it's worth spending a few bucks more on a Rose Art set. Or if you just stick with the $3 ones, we, we'll see, right? But aside from that, I mean, this image is super cute. I absolutely love the artwork style. I love the use of colors here. And of course, I immediately recognize my lighthouse with my house in the back there. I got two lighthouses, actually. I'm doing pretty well for myself. I'm pretty sure later on I'll take a long walk to the bakery here and then head on over to the bookstore. And then who knows, maybe on my way back home I'll just quickly stop at the Apple Jam stall. This is too cute. I absolutely love how the people are drawn in this image. They look like little cartoons. I know this is going to be a fun one to piece together. And then the second puzzle that I picked up was super exciting because it was actually a puzzle from a brand that I, I don't have. And this one is called The Forest Feast. It is from the Magic Puzzle Company. It is 1,000 pieces and it's 28 by 21 inches when it's completed. Now the back of the box has a lot of information on what this puzzle brand is all about. One of the sentences here that intrigued me the most was that it comes with a sealed envelope with a surprise ending. I have no idea what that means, but I'm really super excited to kind of get into this puzzle and seeing what this experience is like because it seems like it's not just a basic puzzling exper experience. We've got quite a number of things going on here. Now there are a few other images from this brand at Walmart but the reason why I chose this one was because I mean these frogs are so cute. You know I've told you in the past how I feel about frogs. I find them to be the cutest animals. I just want to join in on the fun here and just make friends with all these frogs. And there's too many fun and cute things happening here. And not only that, I mean, look, we got food in this image as well. The colors are fantastic. The art style is adorable. I mean, this is too darn cute. But anyways, I'm super curious to see what makes this puzzle the number one on TikTok. And this puzzle was also one of the more expensive puzzle sets in Walmart. This one was actually $22.97. So that was another reason why I didn't go crazy shopping for a bunch of puzzles, even though there were like a ton of Thomas Kincaid ones that I'd love. But you know, with this being um, more expensive, I felt like, you know what, this was worth buying more than, you know, other sets from brands that I already have. This looks like it's gonna be a whole lot of fun. Now, if any of you have tried a puzzle from Magic Puzzle Company, let me know in the comments down below what have your experiences been like. I wonder if it's worth the $22 price tag. And if it is, then it might be a puzzle that I might end up collecting because, I mean, this artwork is fantastic. And if it's more than just putting pieces together, I mean, you're kind of getting more for the price. So that'll be super interesting. I feel like this is going to be a fun video for me to work on. So for the two puzzles I bought at Walmart, I spent, well, I have to minus my chocolate chip cookies that I bought, but I spent about $30 on two puzzles, which is more than I would like to typically spend during a puzzle shopping trip, especially if it's, you know, only two puzzles, but I'm really excited to work on these. But anyways, guys, hit that like button if you are a fan of buying puzzles at Walmart. And if so, what are some other brands that you pick up from there? Does your location carry other brands or other series that you didn't see during the earlier part of the video? If so, let me know down below. I'm curious to see what other Walmarts carry in their stock. Now, if you're looking for a place to share your puzzle hauls with other puzzlers and myself, I do have a puzzling community that you can join. And I'm going to leave a link in the description box down below so that you can check it out. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe if you'd like to see what I have to say about these puzzle sets and other ones that I have in my collection. Anyways, guys, I have a big pile of puzzles that I really need to figure out where I'm going to put. So I'm going to try to move on with that. 
but thank you all for watching. I hope you're all doing well, and I will see you in the next one.